While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Hereby we know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. You know how we got to confess Christ? Right? Doesn't the Bible say we got to confess Christ? Read. Is come in the flesh is of God. So the Bible is telling us in 1 John, John was one of his apostles that walked with Christ. The Bible is telling us we have to confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. Now here's my question. What color flesh did Jesus Christ come in? You said what? I think his flesh was dark. You think his flesh was dark? Okay. Let's finish this and then we're going to prove you, sister. You are correct. Read. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. Kevin said I'm doing all the talking. Actually, it's not called talking. It's called teaching. Because we got people out here that need to learn. Why? Because God said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So somebody got to bring you the knowledge, right? Read. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. So now, if you don't confess that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh, let's see what the Bible says. Is not of God. You are not of God. You ain't God's children. You know how people like to say I'm a child of God? If you don't confess Christ coming to flesh, you're not a child of God. Read. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. This is what? This is that spirit of Antichrist. You're against Christ. Now let's see what Christ looked like. Revelations 1.14. And then we're going to go back to Gentiles. Okay? Listen to this. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and 14, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read verse 1. What are we reading? We are reading the revelation or the depiction, the revealing of Jesus Christ. Why do we have to read this? Hold on a second. Give me 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. 11 and 4. Which one I want? 2 or 4? One of them. You know what I want. Give me that. I'm going to show you why Christ in the last days would have to be revealed. Do you believe we're living in the last days? So Christ in the last days would have to be revealed to his people. You understand? You are his people. So now let's get the revealing of Christ and let's see why this would have to happen. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. So now this is telling us that there will be people coming preaching a different Jesus, right? Read. Whom we have not preached. So now this is the apostles. They say, if somebody come teaching another Jesus, whom we have not taught, read. Or if you receive another spirit. Or, Kenneth, if you receive another spirit of Antichrist, which ye have not received, or another gospel. Or what? Or another gospel. Where the image? Let's see the images. You get another gospel with this image of Christ. You get another gospel. Come as you are. God loves everybody. The laws are done away with. I can be spiritual Israel. That's another gospel. Read. Or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. So now let's go back to the color or the revealing of Christ. One and one. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. After I finish this, I'm going to let you say what you got to say. I'm going to give you your time to peace. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 10. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. So now my question, brother and sister, what is the Lord's day? Today, the Sabbath day. See, you know why you said Sunday? You received another spirit. That's why we got to come out and set the record straight. You have to believe according to the gospel. Thus saith the Lord. We're not giving you what we think. You notice we keep going where? To the Bible. We asked our brother Kenneth to prove what he said, and he can't go to the Bible and do it. Read. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as 
I'm a trumpet. Sing. I am Alpha and Omega. Who is Alpha and Omega? Jesus the Christ, right? So if John said I was on the Spirit in the Spirit on the Lord's Day, which is today, which we are breaking the Lord's Sabbath day, we're not keeping it holy today. Read. The first and the last. And what thou seest. And what thou what? And what thou seest. So now, if you see something, you're going to process the image. So when we read, you got to confess Christ came in the flesh, he actually saw what Christ looked like. Right? Read. And what thou seest, write in a book. Do what? Write in a book. That's what we're reading out of today. The book it was written in. Read. Write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia and Ephesus. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now this is the picture of Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drank wine. When you read in Genesis 49. Now, now he said he didn't drink no wine. That's another spirit. So now we got to prove it. Give me, the, give me Genesis chapter 49. You know what I want. You said Jesus didn't drink no wine. Say it, say it on the mic. You heard me. Say it on the mic, Kenneth. He didn't say he didn't drink wine. You heard me. No, don't try to touch me. Up. Okay, so Kenneth said Jesus didn't drink wine. Because the wine yeah. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Read. The wine represents his love. The book the of Genesis blood. chapter 49. And 11. And 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. This is the prophecy of Jesus Christ in Genesis 49. Now, Kenneth, we're going to give you the proof he drank wine. Give me Matthew 11, 19. We're going to give you the proof. Kenneth, you're a liar. You're a liar, Kenneth. And you better repent, Kenneth. You're a liar and you better repent. The book of Matthew. You're absolutely right. The devil is a liar. Hey, 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 brother man, don't go nowhere yet. I want to show y'all something. Uh, don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. Listen, listen. The reason our communities are so destroyed is because of men like Kenneth. They're, he's a pastor, but look how he's teaching us. He's not teaching us according to the Bible. You understand? So you got, I want you to pay attention and look. We're reading the Bible. He says Christ didn't drink wine, but we just read it that Christ drank wine. And he's teaching people. He got the nerve to teach people. You got to pay attention, y'all. Come on back, bro. Matthew 11, 19. Hold on, hold on. Two more minutes. Give me two more minutes. 11, 19, read. The book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 19. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. What did the Son of Man do? Hey, jump up to uh, John. Read John first. No, no, no. Stay at the next verse up. Yep, yep. Uh, verse 18. For John came neither eating nor drinking. John the Baptist was didn't drink wine. You understand? It said he came neither eating nor drinking. And they say he hath a devil. But they said John the Baptist got a devil on him. Read. The son of man, Christ, came eating and drinking. What was he drinking? Wine. What was his first miracle? Converting water into wine. Read. And they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. So contrary to popular belief, everybody didn't love Jesus. Right? But now, we're going to get back to Kenneth. First, before we get to Kenneth, do you have any questions? My brother, you got any questions? Because the reason I'm asking you this, you're never going to get a chance again to ask your questions and get them answered biblically. Because pastors like Kenneth are not going to be able to do that for you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.